This is the basic control loop that we have and we call this a closed loop feedback and we call it feedback because you're taking an output so here's our, our plant and then we're adding some sort of control component and we have an output and then we take that output and we feed it back to the earlier part of the chain and again we take the difference here and we get the error so the error between the reference the set point so the set point is say it's set by Valerie this is kind of our tends to be our human input or our reference we're choosing that and then we want our system output to look like that so we are going to use this marker to derive the stability of the system. So before we were looking at the stability of the plant and we were looking at just cutting out all the stuff and just looking between the input and the output. But now with this closed loop system, our inputs and outputs are actually a little bit different. So now our input is actually our reference and our output is our Y. And I'm using YCL here to mean close the loop. So let's actually derive the transfer function for this closed loop system. And we will use the transfer function for the plant and we assume that we know or can model the transfer function for the controller. Okay, so let's start over here. Everything's linked together, so we just have to start somewhere. We're gonna start with Y and CL. So this is, I guess this would be in the time domain, this is also Y, CL, so of S. Mm -hmm. And so, well, what is that equal to? Well, something's multiplied by GP, something's multiplied by GC, and then we have the error here. And the error is RS minus YC again. So let's, let's go backwards then. So Y closed loop is equal to this transverse function of the plant. It's going to be multiplied by this transfer function of the control. I'm going to drop all the of s's here, but everything's in uh, Laplace transform. So then we multiply by e s, but e of s is what? It is r s, the reference, minus what we already have. So y c l, the closed loop output. And what we want to get, remember, so we would like to get, we're going to call it T. I think the books and a few other places use that. So T is going to be equal to, what we want is the closed loop over the reference. Okay, so let's do that. So we can move that over, so expand that. That's what I was looking for. R, G, P, G, C. And then it's going to be minus multiplied by that, but then we're going to subtract it and move it over here. So we'll get Y, C, L, I think this is right on the edge. Let me move it over so it's a little bit clearer. So I'll do Y, C, L here. And we have a one from here. And then we have these multiplied together. So G, P, G, C. Okay, so this is pretty easy. We know how to do this. We want to move this to the denominator over here. So we'll get YCL is equal to R G P G C divided by 1 plus G P G C. So this is almost there to get the actual transfer function all we need to do is divide this R. So T of S, right, what output, closed loop output divided by the reference is the two plants, or sorry, the plant and the controller multiplied together divided by one plus those values. So this is our final expression. So if we want to analyze the stability or any other, the the, uh, how this system operates, the closed loop system operates, we use this transfer function to understand its stability and how it will react. Okay, so that's the derivation. This is important to know. Yes, oh, sorry. Gosh, all these, okay. So 
Um, this is the correct equation, so it's these two multiplied together. And this is the transfer function for the closed loop feedback system shown here.